Hello everybody, it's Just a Figment. Today we're going to take a little look at Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. Um, I'm going to give my thoughts on it and show you guys what it's like if you've never played it. Um, a little bit of background, I've only played Minecraft for about 3 or 4 months now. I've only played PC, so I really don't have anything to compare it to besides that. But it's... I've played a little bit on here and I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. So here we go. I have my one world here. I managed to build a house and all that good stuff and figure all that stuff out. It took me a while. I died after I built my house and then I spawned in my original spawn point because I didn't have a bed yet and I couldn't find my house. And I wandered around and eventually ran into it. Um, the forest over here is where I spawned and I didn't want to build in the forest, that's why I came out. Uh, the first thing I noticed though is the trees. They're a lot bigger, some of them, and that's pretty cool. I like that. And there's something else about the trees that I'll mention when I stumble upon one again. Um, there's another thing. Baby animals actually spawn into the world, which was new to me. I know all about getting the babies and everything in the PC, but having them actually spawn <laughs> was a different story. So as I wander back into here, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the controls that I don't like. Um, one thing that I really miss in here is that I can't see where I am. I'd often use in the PC the F3 where I can find out where I am and I will sometimes write down the coordinates for a place that I wanted to go back to and so far I have not found a way to do that in here which in my opinion is kind of a backslide something's not happy um but I can live with it but that's exactly why I lost my house because I just couldn't find it um the sounds are different Ah, here we go. The fallen trees. There's fallen trees, which I thought was really kind of cool. And, you know, it makes it kind of, makes you not feel so bad for cutting down the live trees all the time. I don't know how to um, use any of the codes or anything in here. There's a sound, um, you make a strange noise when you fall a far distance, which is new. Or maybe not new, but new to me. Like if I fall down here. Oops, I didn't fall far enough. Well, you actually make a, like, a oof sound instead of... There's vines on the trees, so that's cool. I really haven't wandered too much farther out of the forest, besides by my house and trying to find my house again. I haven't done too much caving. I have not found out how to adjust the brightness, which is a bit of a challenge in the caves. Because I really can't see. And then I feel lost. Let's see if I can actually find my house again. I think it's over here. <coughs> Oof. There we go. Crafting and putting things in the furnace, I don't really like either. It seems a bit more complicated and a little more difficult to do. There's my house. Should be over here somewhere, I hope. Ah, there it is. So, I mean, overall, it's okay. It's a different set up pretty much and I've been told it's very similar to Pocket Edition which again I have not played. Um, the thing I don't like here is, oh I have iron ingots, um, trying to put things in here you have to click input and then put whatever you want in there. Um, you have to click on fuel and put your fuel in there. So that, And then you have to click X. I'm used to clicking something else. I can't even remember at the moment, but 
Same thing for crafting. That's actually not that different, so that's not too bad. I'm trying to think what else that I noticed in here that was different that was interesting. Like I said, I haven't wandered into too many different biomes yet because I'm terrified of losing my house again. So if anybody else who has played this knows it, pretty much how to figure out where you are and where you're going, that would be awesome. Um, these are gigantic trees. They're so cool. I like those a lot. I haven't had the uh, guts to cut one down yet, but they're really, really cool. There's some mushrooms in here. I found the usual pig, sheep, chickens. Nothing else yet. There's a partial mushroom up there. There's a red one. But yeah, overall, I mean, the gameplay is very, very similar. Controls are exactly the same, except the F keys don't do the same things, at least not as far as I've found. I can do my... Hi, everybody! Um, I don't... No, if F... Yeah, F1 takes care of that. I don't know if F2 still takes a screenshot or not, because it doesn't tell me anything. T still brings up your typing... But other than that, I have not figured anything else out yet. There's a baby sheep! Oh, and a creeper's gonna get on me. Yeah, I bet you didn't like that. Creepers blow things up, which is, as those of you who watch me know, I'm not used to. Oh, these are interesting trees. Hello, shippies. Um, I have a feeling I'm getting terribly lost, but it's getting dark. Ooh, that's a nice big rock. Well, I'm gonna head back before I get so hopelessly lost that I can't find my house again and I have to start from scratch. Again, as my fans will are well aware, I keep my keep inventory on because I'm desperately afraid of losing things. And once again, I do not know how to turn that stuff on in here. Lost my sword. So I'm kind of stuck and this stupid spider is getting me. Oh look at the baby cow! So cute! That's probably my favorite part, the baby cows. These are babies. I have nothing to defend myself with. They're gonna have to get the pickaxe to the face because... Oh, and that broke! I'm not happy! Running! Getting out of here. Uh, gotta get out of here. No creeper. My house. My home is imminent. I will get back. In a second, I'll give you guys a peek at like the options menu and stuff. That's extremely different. Not much to it. So there's not much to change. Home sweet home! Yay! Okay, in, in, in. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. Alright, so that's about it, I guess. Um, I'll show you guys the option menu and then we'll get out of here. Let's see, we gotta go escape. We can do... Here's the options. Um, the volume, third person view, all that stuff is in here. Um, you can do lo local server multiplayer, which will be fun. Um, you can control the sensitivity and all this. I guess you can make yourself a lefty, which is kind of cool if you're a lefty. You can turn on auto jump, which I didn't know. That's cool. I, sometimes I hate jumping. Um, then you got your usual brightness, render difference, field of vision, full screen, graphics, all that fun stuff. So yeah, that's it. Um, overall, I think it's a good game. Um, 
it'll be a little bit of an adjustment if you're used to PC. I don't know how it compares to like the 360 or Xbox One or PlayStation, you know, PS4 or anything because I have not played any of those platforms because I don't have them. Um, I haven't played the Pocket Edition. We do have it in the house now, but I have not played it. I'm told it's very similar to this, so if you like Pocket Edition, I'm sure you'll like this. But yeah, basically it's just a big adjustment, and it's a little bit different, but if you like Minecraft, it's really worth a shot to play it a little bit. The, you know, a little bit different look to everything, and as soon as I can figure out how not to get lost, I'm sure I'll have a blast with it. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys all later. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See y'all later. Bye!